Hey guys, welcome back to our Wyoming life. My name is Mike and a monumental thing has happened on the ranch. Something we've been waiting for for quite a while and no, Ethel did not have her pole, but we have been waiting for number eight to have her calf. Now, Jeff calls her cantankerous, which might be a little biased, but we don't know. We're gonna go up and see how she's doing. I was actually gone uh, for most of the day. I had to run over to South Dakota and got the call that she had her calf while I was gone. But now we have to go up and check it out and try to get her calf tag. Now we've been talking about this for uh, a couple weeks now, waiting for her to have her calf. And the fact of the matter is that she's relatively, uh, most of the time, she's a very, very lovable cow. She'll take cake from your hand, she'll let you pet her nose, all that kind of good stuff. But if, if, the, if the old adage holds true, which is how she's been for the last five years, the fact of the matter is that she has her calf and then she's mad about it so she's not going to want us to do have anything to do with her calf uh, this knocks us down to four cows that we're waiting to calf but we want it we still have to get her calf tagged now there has been years that we've just not even tagged her calf because you know why bother uh we'll be able to tag it at branding but we're going to give it a try today i have been feeding her cake by hand i've been scratching her nose for the past year um, trying to make friends with her we're going to see if any of that finally paid off and joining us uh, to uh, help film and make sure that uh, if i get ran over she has her phone and she can call mom and we've got a radio and all that kind of good stuff i do have a radio uh, so this is my backup here. This is Mackenzie. She's my 12 year old daughter who is Going to take over the ranch someday, right? Maybe. Maybe. We don't know yet. We'll get there. Okay, so number eight had her calf about as far away as she can. She's actually in the home pasture still, but she's a ways away. So we're going to sneak up and hopefully be able to tag her calf. But just to make sure we did bring a little bit of cake with us and we're going to get our tagging gun ready now before we get up there because you know you don't want to have to mess around with it when she's trying to run us over so do you remember how to load one of these up kenzie Kinda. okay so she will be number 29 he or she we don't know yet it's gonna be a paint truck <laughs> um we're just gonna have to go fast yeah. so you're gonna help me film right otherwise i'll drop the camera or something silly probably okay so we're gonna load up our gun here this is our tagging gun we're gonna get our tag in and you're in charge of holding on to that. You're not going to have to tag the calf, but okay. you're going to you're going to hand that to me. I don't when think I'm ready you want my first calf to tag to be number eight. Number you've eight. tagged calves before. Remember, you've tagged bottle calves in the barn. I have. I think you tagged Marty or Frida last year. One or the other. You did. You did. I think you did. I don't know for sure though. I don't remember that. I don't really remember it either. That was a long time ago. I don't remember tagging a calf. <laughs> okay, we're heading off road, up into the pasture. And she's way up there somewhere. Let me know if you see her. So Aaron actually came up and got some uh, uh, footage or at least some pictures of the calf as it was born. It's a black calf. It doesn't have any white on it. So unfortunately, uh, we were hoping that she might have a, uh, at least like a white faced calf, but that didn't happen. There she is right there with her calf. And the first thing we're gonna do is roll up. Hey mama, and see if she'll take some cake. Can you hold on to that? Yep. All right, hey mama, you want some cake? Come here, come here, come here. Come here. No, nope, she doesn't want anything to do with the cake. Come here. Hey, you want a piece of cake? Here. She's very protective. She's very protective. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to pour out some cake. We're going to distract her with some cake here. Dump it all out. Okay. Dumped out a bunch of cake. And she's going to come over and hopefully check it out. Maybe. Are you going to come get the cake? I put, there's a whole bunch right here, right there. See it? Nope. You got to take another couple steps. Oh, 
Thank she's you. wise to us. She knows her. She knows our tricks. Okay, so we're gonna, where's our tagging gun? Here's our tagging gun. We're gonna see if we can roll up next to this calf. And let's see what she does and how she... Immediately comes to you. Hi, I poured out all the cake back there. Yeah, I know, you're a little cranky. Okay, be a nice mom. Go get all that cake. Yeah. Go get all the cake. Well, now she wants cake from me. She's taken doors off of gators before, so we're a little leery around her. We're gonna be a little sneaky. Sneaky as she stares right at you. Dad. No, my mama, it's okay. I'm not gonna hurt your baby. <laughs> eh, she kind of came at me a little bit there. Let's see uh, if we can tell if it's a... Hey, nope. that was mean. Okay, we got the baby tagged, but we still don't know if it's a boy or a girl. We're not gonna be able to dip the umbilical cord because she's not gonna let us get that close. So, let's see if we can figure out if this is a boy or a girl. Are you a boy or a girl? Turn the corner, kiddo. Turn the corner. Turn the corner. There you go. Turn, turn, turn. Keep going. A little bit further. Come on, baby. Tiny baby. It is pretty small. Are you a boy or a girl? Hard to tell. I think it's just gonna have to be a branding thing that we see. It may be uh, determined at branding, but it looks like a girl. No dangly bits. Okay, now. Come here, mama. Come over here and get this cake. She's much happier when she's between us and the calf. That kind of makes her feel a little bit better. And she'll eat some cake. She's protective, which is good, but it can be a pain sometimes. Right. Okay. There we go. Now she found the cake. We might be able to sneak around a baby here and just hey, make, Mike, are you back? make sure. <laughs> No, we're out filming with number eight. I thought I heard the gator, sorry. No, it's okay. We're trying to figure out if it's a boy or a girl. Okay, hold the camera. I'm gonna take a quick peek here. Okay, it is a girl. So, obviously she's distracted by cake right now which is very nice. We're gonna come back out a little bit later on, maybe in a couple days, and see how her and her calf are doing and see if she's friendly up at all. So that's, what do you think? Do you think she's gonna get friendly? Maybe, I don't know how she usually acts. Yeah, she gets- she's taken off the doors of gators before. Yeah, we actually did pretty good this time. She's, uh, maybe she's mellowing out in her old age. Maybe. How old is she? Uh, I don't know, let's find out. She is, 13 years old, lucky 13. All right, let's put her calf in the computer here for her. It's been like the worst year that you've like had with her, like with her calf. Yeah. No, what's the worst year you've had with her? Oh, the worst year? Um, she had her calf, I wanna say it was oh. last, 
Last year. <sighs> I'm sorry. What's going on? What's out, pigs? Oh, okay. <laughs> Sound. Are the pigs out? Sounds like it. Sounds like. All right. Sounds like pigs are out. So let's head back. I'm gonna put her in the computer here really quick so we have her down. Did they go through the loading chute? No. I left the gate open. <laughs> All right. Sounds like we have a pig emergency happening. So let's head back to the main ranch and we're gonna wrangle some pigs. Yeah. Alrighty guys, I promised you more uh, pigs and unfortunately we did uh, miss the chasing in of the pigs, but we always talk about having a multi-generational farm. And one of the things we don't get to talk about very often is having multi-generational farm hands. You all know ranch hand Jeff, but you don't know this guy. This is ranch hand Jeff's dad, <laughs> ranch hand Sam. Hi Sam. Hi. How are you? Good. Sam has been here on the ranch with us for about a week. We've been uh, working him like crazy and uh, keeping him busy. Yes. And uh, here before too long, you'll be heading back to San Francisco. You gonna miss the place? I'm gonna miss it. Yeah, well, you're welcome anytime. <laughs> We've got one last big project uh, for these guys and they're gonna be weighing these pigs so we can get an average, so we can keep track of how much they gain per day and over time so we can figure out when they're gonna be ready for slaughter. So let's get started. Let's do this new crop of pigs just arrived today and these guys uh, will come behind our next, our pigs that we have now that are about 150 pounds or so. We're gonna get an average weight on these guys, but these guys should go uh, probably about uh, as we head into winter. So we're trying to keep as many, uh, as much pork in stock as we can, which is sometimes just a little bit tricky. I never fancied myself uh, much of a pig farmer, but you guys seem to love our pork. So we've actually been upping uh, pig production here on the ranch. We're buying wiener pigs and uh, finishing them out ourselves so we don't have our own sow or our own, own boar, but this actually works out really good. Come on, little guys. You have any left back there? Obviously weighing pigs can be a little bit of a trick. We gotta keep track of how many get on the scale and then get an average. We're not gonna weigh each one individually. All right, let's push a few up and see what we get. Come on, guys. Close it down when we're full. Maybe we can get all 15 on here. Who knows? You got them all? That's all. Wow. Sam, did you ever think you'd be a pig farmer? No. No. Me neither. So we're at 688 pounds. A little bit of math. 45 pounds a piece. So we were thinking they'd be about 50, so that's close. pretty dang close. Um, let's close this middle corral and we'll put them in there. Does that make sense? Yes. Wait. 
There they go. How'd you get over there already? Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. Yeah. Right, come on. <laughs> come on, Ding Dong. Maybe the one that was over. Maybe. We might end up with pigs everywhere. They're little. So our original thought was to keep these guys here in the AeroQuip for a few while we figured out some stuff down in a corral for them, but we're actually going to jump down and get a corral ready for them because I don't think they're going to stay in here. I think there's a few too many spots that they could squeak through underneath the fence. So if you can get that panel up really quick, I'll just keep an eye on these guys. Jeff's going to throw a panel up in one of our corrals so that they can't get underneath the gate. I'll show you that here in a second, but for right now, we're just going to babysit pigs. Come here, little guys. Come here. What are you doing? Six. 86 and you grew up on a farm in Oklahoma in Oklahoma what kind of farm was it uh, we just raised enough cattle to feed ourselves a butcher a steer every spring and had a lot of garden vegetables uh -huh. and some uh, watermelon corn chickens chickens yeah raised. any turkeys no turkeys. <laughs> we ordered at least a hundred chickens every year and they came in the box of a hundred. Oh wow. And ordered. Raised them and replaced some of the hens that we had. Right. Took a took a crate of eggs to the market every month and uh, raised mules. That was Oh mules. Like like pulling mules and all that kind yes. of stuff? Like teams? My my dad had an uncle live next door, half a mile away, uh, had jacks. Oh, okay. And we had mares, and he'd breed the mares and raise them till they were two year old, and then squeeze them down and put a harness on them, and they were green broken. Oh, wow. If you could get a harness on them, they were green broke, and they're good to sell. Huh. Interesting. That's part of our income for the year. But you guys never did pigs? No, we did one butcher. But that was it? That was it. <laughs> and we'd butcher him and hang him from a tree and skin him and render the lard back beef or the meat in a big box and salt. Oh, yeah. Didn't have a freezer. We had ice box. Oh, wow. If you don't put ice in it, it's not cold. Yeah, exactly. Huh. Interesting. Things have definitely changed, haven't they? They definitely have changed. I'm having trouble keeping up. It <laughs> changing so fast. <laughs> You're not the only one. Alrighty, guys, we've got uh, everything buttoned up down here. The ranch hands have uh, made short work of putting up a couple fences. Jeff looks like he's about wore out. Sam looks like he's ready to go another 10 rounds. So much the people. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to bring the pigs. The new pigs will come down here into this corral. We don't have any water set up for them yet, but Jeff and Sam will work on that throughout the day. And uh, if you want to start pushing them down, I'll stand here and make sure they don't go this way, if that makes sense. Are they still in there? Yeah. Oh my gosh, they all went and laid down. Here they come. Did that one come through the fence? That was funny. Right through the air. Yeah. There's one behind you too, Jeff. Come on, kids. Go down that way, there's food. 
And uh, yeah, we'll just have to keep an eye on them throughout the day. Did you count them? No. Um, <laughs> looks like 15. <laughs> Three, six, nine, 12, 15. Sweet. I don't know how. <laughs> I think you did great. All right, Sam. Thank you for your help. All right. Thank great. you for being on our channel. I'm enjoying every bit of it. <laughs> so are we. Well, some days. Yeah. Jeff, I'm going to go check cows. Okay. I'll be back in just a few. Enjoy your pig farming experience. I've had enough. <laughs> we are going to head on down, check on number eight, see how she's doing, and our other cows that are still expecting calves. All right, we're still waiting for four cows to have their calves. Uh, number 76, number 98, that's Bambi, number two, and number 80. Two of those cows, of course, are pet cows, Bambi and number two, and of course, they're going to be slackers and probably take us up to the very end of calving season just to hog a little bit of the limelight for themselves. Number 80 had her calf just about two days ago. Uh, we're going to go out and check her temperament and see how she's doing. She actually did a little bit better than I thought she was going to do uh, during the uh, tagging process and all that kind of good stuff. So she may be just fine. number eight who in her old age apparently is mellowing out quite a bit it's only been a couple days and she's already back to normal her calf is back there behind her hey, kiddo. there's Bambi No calf as of yet from her. Bambi. No calf yet from Bambi, but maybe soon. Hey, kiddo. Oh. oh. Possessive much? You want a piece of cake? And like I said, we've got uh, four more cows that we're waiting to calve, and then we'll be calling it an end to calving season. Moving on uh, with the ranch and, and what happens around here. We've got haying coming up, hopefully, if we get some more rain. But next on the agenda is actually getting those pigs set up. And I've got an idea in my head for a brand new type of pig feeder that we can actually make from some old water totes that we have here on the ranch. So that's coming up here before too long and uh, a whole lot more. So be sure to subscribe and follow along as we explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary right here on our Wyoming life. Can you say bye?